Hello everyone, this is Aaron again out here at permission number one trying to do some more pesting today. We are seeing uh, some sparrows, uh, starlings of course. Haven't seen the pigeons, which is really unusual for this time of year, but I haven't seen, I think I saw one pigeon and that was it. Hopefully they're gonna come in later as the fall kicks in more. But right now uh, we should be able to get some targeting in on some, uh, on some sparrows and some starlings. And I see some blackbirds around too. So let's go out there and see what we can do. I got the impact back in the car. Uh, and uh, 177. Uh, we're going to see what it can do today. And let's just have some fun with it. Let's go. This guy's 25 yards away. This guy here is at 20 yards. Forty yards straight up, left and low. Twenty yards. I miss. Thirty yards went to the left. I'm trying to get above that fence right there that I might hit. Going after a two. Twenty-five yards. This guy here is about 30 yards away. Mm. 
as you guys can see the birds are here they're here but I'm telling you they're they're really skittish and they stand in the flock and they just stand way away this is about a these birds are here about 150 yards away and uh, these starlings are they're grouped up but they're really really skittish haven't got a shot on one yet hope hope to get a shot on one soon though about 20 yards away these guys are 30 yards away winged them Here I have a good angle because there's no cows on that side. I'm trying to get a double. Gotta wait till they move by that post. Okay, he's safe. Alright man, it's tough. That's gonna come in underneath me, hit that damn post right there. Damn. Forty yards. Nope, not anymore. Thirty yards. We've got the fifty yards. <laughs> These guys are fifty yards. Fifty yards is the eighth holdover. I need something bigger than a sparrow though. Nothing but sparrows, though. There we go. This is a safe shot we got a wood back. Stop. Damn. Got another wood's back. Stop. Got it. See the wood? That's why you wanted that back. Stop. Here's another wood back. Stop. These guys are 40. They were 40. You guys, I have been missing some out some of these shots, but I want you to see why. This wind is kicking up pretty good here. I just want to show you guys that even though I'm not shooting that much, this is what it looks like out here. 
okay? There are birds out here. But they're not giving me much of a chance to shoot at them because you take one shot and they're gone. And uh, just impact. I can shoot at these birds right now and they would all fly. I can miss that bird right there and they would all fly from the report of this gun firing. However, I could bring my P-15 out here, shoot that bird three times and he'll stay. This thing is just too loud. Uh, the Mach 1, 177 has a shitty shroud on it for the amount of money you, I had to pay for it. Anyway, point blank was You guys, I was wrong. I said earlier that uh, that they were doing alfalfa or something there. That's actually corn. What they do is they take down the whole stock corn and everything, and they make it into the silage stuff that the cows eat. And that's what they're working on right now. And this guy here, he's putting bales up there. And those bales are gonna be the inside barrier uh, for the uh, corn silage that they're putting up there. And here comes another truck to drop off. So basically they, uh, they have a machine out there and that machine is, uh, is dumping it into the trucks and the trucks are bringing it here and that tractor there is pushing it up to a high mound I said earlier that, that mound must be 12 feet high I take that back I think it's probably 25 feet high uh, because one of those tractor tires is almost is about five feet and you see how far he's coming down here comes another truck and this truck here is gonna back in and dump, and dump another load there for him to uh, push up in there and again there's the uh, skid steer that's bringing in the bale of hay that's going to be the barrier for it. So you're basically seeing the whole operation of how they do this corn back there now from uh, it being blown into the trucks to the trucks dropping it off and it being piled up and uh, this is that one bin there is going to feed those cows for the whole winter so you know those cows got a lot of food to eat, but boy, if you watch those cows eat, you will understand it. Those guys can put it away. Anyway, just trying to show you what goes on in the farm. This is how they feed the cows. You guys, look how high that heel has gotten since I last checked with you guys. That, that dog on a tractor is probably I don't know, three stories high now? And they're still bringing it in? It'd be interesting to see just how high that thing gets. But believe me, the buildup out there has been very, very high. All right, just another thing of note. Twenty-five yards, y'all. Twenty yards. Not to, oh no, I can't shoot that. That ten behind him might just give. I think the angle's right, but I'm not sure how thick that is. Pass it up. Okay, now there's no ten behind him. I can go for it. Missed. Twenty-five yards. Winged him. He's coming down, I think. Yep, he's going down. I'm watching him. Yep, he went down over there. You guys, I'm sorry that on the last few shots this thing has been crooked. But I knocked it loose and I can't get it. I don't have a tool with me to fix it. So we're looking at 50 yards here. I'm trying to shoot. 
so to go into the green after I take the shot. Got him. All right, 50 yards. This is going to be a tight, tight squeeze because there's a fence right there I got to go through. Just got to wait for the right shot. Almost. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take it. I knew I was gonna hit that wire. I knew I was gonna hit it. Damn it. Twenty yards. No, twenty-five. Got him. Another wire shot. Oh, he gone. Another wire shot. Got to get it between that wire. Got him. Another wire shot. Got him. This guy is gone. Uh -huh. Let me take this opportunity to tell you guys on a lot of these shots I have not talked about the distance I'm shooting. I like to always tell you that, but these birds have been so flighty today. I just got to bring the gun down and shoot. I ain't got time to do a narrative. That's an example of why. I'm about 40 yards. With the wind blowing to the left. I'm going to hold off a tiny bit. Got him. Okay, I just got in position to take this shot. I'm going to back up a little bit more to make sure that wood is behind him. There we go. In case I do hit him or miss. Last shot of the day was gonna be <laughs> see if we can find another last shot of the day this is one of the reasons why I just gotta pull the gun up and shoot hey fellas it was a good day today the wind, the wind picked up and so that really made it kind of tough uh, in terms of uh, in terms of getting some shots and plus in there it's kind of loud because the uh, the fans are on, but we got a few birds. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to be doing a lot more pesting uh, in the future and, and posting some videos. I hope you guys don't mind me talking so much about the safety issues and different things I think are concerned out here. I'm doing this because for those of you who may want to start pesting, and so you have some idea when you go on the farms and stuff what to look out for. You don't have to learn lessons the hard way. You can learn them a lot easier. So with that, uh, we're going to close it out, and we want to thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for subscribing, and uh, we'll see you soon. Let's, uh, let's try to keep it safe. Thank you.